I just wanted to show our customers how much we care and how much of our own blood and sweat we're putting into these products. This isn't something that's just nine to five. This is 24 seven. I started in 96. Uh, I started as a product manager there, developing products, bringing in off the shelf, helping with tech, training, pretty much a lot of stuff inside the building. Then I transitioned into the R&D manager. What I'm doing is that same position now where it's dedicated to the development of all of our in-house design products. Stuff that we call the Eastwood or Eastwood Elite line. Product next to me here is our new Eastwood Elite Mini English Wheel. And uh, this was conceived working on my buddy's 3100 pickup. Had to do a couple small patch panels. I couldn't get them into our large size English wheel. The upper wheel itself, I'm trying to work with almost the width of the panel in there. So I think, well, how can I put in shape? And yeah, I could have tried to bend it over a corner, my knee or something like that, but that's just not, that's just bending. It's not really stretching and contouring the panel itself. So I thought, why can't we make one of these shrunk down? And uh, that's where it came about. So build a crude frame, put the wheels on there just to give a fixture, just to do a proof of concept and started wheeling it. And I was moving 18 gauge very easy. And you had enough room on here, as you can see, you know, to still, hold the panel nice, so it worked out great. So that was when I thought, you know what, maybe there's other guys. So I think the reason an English wheel is overlooked when it comes to equipping your shop is because of the fear of this experience that I need. I think a lot of guys think, well, I gotta have 45 years metal forming experience to use an English wheel the right way. And, and that's something that you don't have to. Now those guys, they're the masters of doing it. But you can form metal just by purchasing this wheel here reading our instructions and watching some videos. It's very easy with a wheel like this, this small size, because there's not intimidation. You're not standing in front of this 1,100 pound mass and moving a lot of metal. Uh, it's not like what you see on TV where these, these guys that are real good are doing it real quick. This is something that you start slow. You can slowly work a patch panel through here and you're watching the crown. You're watching the metal form into what you want. You simply take it out put it onto your vehicle, get a check of where you are, or put it up against your template, whatever you're using, and then you go back and wheel it some more. So it's very easy to get into English wheeling with something like this, with a small, non-intimidating type machine, but packed with enough power that it's gonna move your 18 gauge patch panels. All of my designs have iterations. Call them mistake, call them uh, development, design changes, but yeah, a lot. Uh, mainly in the anvils. Like I said before, trying to get to that, what are the best shapes that we could put in here that really form the metal in those small areas? You know, working a small piece of metal you think would be real easy, but it's not, it's tight, it's constrained. So moving it, you need to, so that's where in here, um, the frame, that was a little bit there. You know, we wanted to have as much as a throat we could in here, but the larger the throat, the more flex you have on your legs, your extensions out here. So we had to come to that happy medium. Of what's the best design with the most rigidity? But yeah, are there any mistakes? Yeah, I call them prototypes. So the first project that I did was uh, to prove the concept. Once the prototype was completed, was on my, uh, my Dodge, my 08. I had it typical rotted out above the rear wheel wells on there. So instead of a whole bedside on there, wanted to play around. So I took some sheet metal and um, made patch panels. And this was really nice because I could set it in my vise over there and I'm working a piece that was maybe uh, maybe 24, 23 inches by about six. So it's a real nice piece. And I was just able to wheel this through here. Very enjoyable working on it. I'm not, you know, I don't have a big frame, big legs in front of me of anything like that with a full size wheel. So it was really enjoyable working with it. And then when I'm done, same thing, just throw the thing under the counter and you got your desk space back. And the results were the same as what you would get with a full size wheel. In fact, they'd be the same as if I would have bought, spent the money for a patch panel. So it's real gratifying once I get a prototype completed and able to actually use it in the application and use like a customer would. Uh, and that particular aha moment came when I was doing, like I said, that patch panel on my truck where I'm working it and, and it's working. You're there like, this is really forming and this is really forming the way I envision and want it to form. So that's, that's really nice. The, the second part of it is when you're at a show, whether it's at one of the Carlisle events or even at our own, you know, one of our stores, and you see a customer come up and have a question, you know, say, hey, hey Mark, tell me about this little English wheel. I saw a video, you know, I want to pick one up. That's really the best, is when you guys come out there and purchase something that, you know, we created in-house just for you. 
When you buy one of our developed products, it's something that you know we put our heart and soul into it and something that we needed for our own shop and our own projects, something that you can use and you can trust. That's the biggest takeaway I'd like from this video.